What's going on guys? It's Anthony with the Wrenched Out Garage. Thank you guys for tuning in. And today, um, I'm. this is more going to be an explanation video, more or less than a install video, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. Um, don't forget, hit subscribe here at the Wrenched Out Garage so you guys don't miss a thing. Today, we're working on the Razor and these guys have been sitting on the bench for quite a while and I want to get them off the bench. I've been chipping away, doing different things. So these are the, the beard um, four point harnesses for the Razor. This is what comes in the kit. You obviously can loop the top or if you have a place to mount, there's your over the shoulders. Both of them are the same. You get your cross chest and then you got your buckle. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I'm doing this um, and that's all you get in an install. This is a custom kit, <clears throat> very generic. Seats are removed, obviously you know how to do that. If you're gonna tackle this, you just pop them out, pull them. Um, but I've got one of them installed here. And again, this is more of an explanation video than it is anything else. If you look over there, um, the seat belt has been unhooked, unhooked, unhooked. To whereas on this side, the way I did it is I started right here, unbolted this, dropped it down, unbolted this, dropped it down, and then unbolted this. So it's just three sets, and then you are going to need to unbolt this, and you're gonna get into here, and then unbolt that. That is essentially what you're doing. Obviously, this is gonna get rebolted. I ran my strap through there, just like that. And uh, these guys are a little loose. I might tighten them up, because you're still gonna wanna adjust them. Um, but they're in there pretty good, so I'll probably, t like I said, tighten it up a little bit. But essentially, that's it. Now, with this, you will notice, let me move this out of the way here. The, the driver's side has this uh, cable hook to it, so it doesn't matter. There it is. This doesn't matter which you go with. In fact, let me unhook this real quick. Um doesn't matter which um, harness you go with you're still gonna have to replace this and the replacement part looks like this there's the part number right there this is the uh, Polaris I think it's Polaris I don't know I got it from Polaris but that doesn't mean it is Polaris but again there's the part number and you need this so it tells the system so it tells the computer that your uh, seat belts buckled because if you don't do that then you're going to be limited now this just plugs it's going to be difficult to do here this plug should plug just like that and then it's going to go back down under there um super simple install on this not rocket science by any means this side's pretty much done i didn't put the seat in yet because i gotta bolt this thing back down after i get this side out now it's just basic hand tools and you're just going to need some time now you do have a couple of options um, i ran with this because the way the lap belt was on the current one goes like this so i thought okay i'll just keep this one i don't i'm not taking this off you can obviously go all the way back to this we'll see how it sits when I get it in the vehicle um, with the seat and everything else but overall I think it looks good so far um, let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and get this side done and then we'll take a look at uh, what's going on here Oh, and for this upper portion, you got a 19 mil and a 16. So you switch sides, the nut versus the bolt head. And then once you get down to this portion, you do got to jump on the lower down to a 15 mil. I'm using an 11 16 wrench. back side of it
Okay, and then you're gonna reuse, at least for me, I reused this uh, nut and bolt on this one so I can bolt in the uh, harness to that slot. Again, you can move it to the back, which will bring it to this. I'm using it here because it's still, uh, still got a little bit of an angle and it looks good. And then you're gonna just get into here um, and then we're gonna take this buckle out, which I think is another different size. It is, I'm using, and the size isn't perfect on this one, so a 13 16 on this, and I think it's the, yeah, 13 16 and then the 16 mil once again, so don't put that away. Both sides are exactly the same. You're gonna to wanna to keep this bolt as well. There it is. Let's go grab the harness. All right guys, so obviously for this one, we're not gonna need these uh, shackles, unfortunately, because it just isn't gonna work for us on here. Now I'm gonna go about the same height. Obviously once I get the seats in and I sit in it, I'll do all, all the adjustments uh, later on. But what you do wanna do while you're doing this install is hold them together because you're gonna need a little bit more space. Get them as straight as you can. That looks pretty good. This first one, we're gonna go up. And essentially you're gonna follow the weave that's already in it under Pull it tight, or as tight as you can anyways. And then you're gonna go back under. Okay, and then you're gonna take this one and then go back through the top loop just like that, which will take you a second here. It's normally a little easier to go in under the corner than once you can get enough through, you are good to go. So actually you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. There we go. And then once you get the seats in, once I get the seats in anyways, you can do whatever you want with yours, but I'm going to uh, make the final adjustments. So this one, same thing, over. There we go, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook this from each other. Pull this guy a little bit tight here. This is obviously, all of this is adjustable, so once you get it in, you can kind of fine tune it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and bolt this side in, and essentially, I just did the same thing as I did on, uh, essentially, it's the same way that you uninstall you just reinstall it i put the tab in the groove make sure everything is straight you don't want to twist it or put it in backwards or whatever it may be run the bolt through and then what i'll do from there is get ready to retighten it so I'll grab the wrench
All right, guys, so that wraps this up. We've got both the seats. Obviously, this is the reason that these, that everybody punches the holes and goes with the through design so that these don't just kind of do that. Looks like that. Overall, um, super excited to be able to use these. I will, I may end up doing the through, uh, punching the through hole uh so they stay up i don't know yet we'll have to see thank you guys for tuning in that's the beard four point harness for your razor or really actually it can go into any side by side that you may or may not have um i'll put links to this and other products down below make sure and check them out check us out on instagram facebook and don't forget if you're out riding or driving do it safely and we'll see you in the next video